Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's Samsung fridge video is how to get ice from the ice maker. Before you get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon will be notified of new videos, and I really appreciate that thumbs up. Thank you very much in advance. Okay folks, quick update. Uh, I'm getting a lot of questions on uh, the ice maker, so I thought I'd make a quick video on this one in particular. Uh, first, my fridge. Everything is great with this Samsung fridge and it's over a year already. I haven't had any issues at all. Yes, I have some scratches on the exterior and that's all I have right now. So to unlock the control panel, you hit the door alarm button over here, hold it for three seconds, then it unlocks. Then you can check if your ice maker is off or on. So make sure it's on. If you don't want the door to chime, just hit the button once and it won't chime. I like it to chime because I left the door open. I want it to tell me. Okay, to save the setting, all you need to do is close the door. That's the easiest way to do it. And I wait about, say, 30 seconds to a minute, then your settings should be safe. So my fridge, as you probably noticed, has the water, cube ice, and crushed ice. So those are the three settings I have in particular. And if you want water, you know, just click on water. So there's an ice max tray. Grab the latch on the bottom of the unit and pull out lift up and pull out and you can see if there's ice or not inside so i have ice in here and it's been made already but if you have a new fridge allow about 24 hours for the first batch of ice i read some things out there on the web saying you can actually flow away the first three batches fyi so you know maybe cleanliness or something so you have ice water cube ice and crushed ice so i'm gonna do crushed ice i hit the button but i didn't get to record it so this is how it looks like when you do crushed ice. And it takes a little while for it to come out and the pieces are just like a lot smaller. So keep that in mind. If you're making it float or you're making something that requires crushed ice, that's the way to go. So I think most people probably go for the cube ice. And how simple it is to do, just push the button and you go to cube ice. Okay, so that's how simple it is to get cube ice. Hopefully this answers a lot of questions out there. If you have a question in particular, you'd like me to help uh, get my feedback, please post it below and i do my best to help. I really appreciate a thumbs up so other people can see this video. And if a comment, please leave it below to help others. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.